Hello and welcome to another map review. We are going to be looking at this uh, map, which is known as Ballydorn um, and has Ballydorn Farm. Um, let's just kind of get into it first and then we can talk a little bit more about the, the map. Okay, so Ballydorn is a map that is essentially situated in County Down, Northern Ireland, on the shores of Strangford Loch. And uh, it's a map for PC only. Um, I will uh, put all the details uh, for download and everything else in the usual place in the description. Um, it is actually, um, as I understand it, based on a real area. Um, in a specific um, village around in, in County Down and um, essentially uh, it is kind of available um, widely but it is literally um, originally intended for the UK community. This map has a number of features including things like um, right-hand driving vehicles so the kind of map is being designed for a well Basically, someone like myself, who's from England, we're used to certain ways, like driving on the right side of the road, um, and everything else. So, let's take a look at um, the log before we go in and see if there's any errors. Um, the log looks error free so far. Yep, error free. So, let's jump in. Um, I'm going to do flight mode and we should be good. Okay. So here we are on the farm. Um, let's take a look at the map. So um, here we are, Biodon Farm, um, by a guy called um, Oyibo, um, I hope I pronounced that right. We have quite an interesting map here. Um, quite an interesting map. Um, there are various bits to this. There's some islands. Um, there is various walk. Um, I'm guessing causeways or whatever to take you to the various areas. Um, strangely enough. I am puzzled about this island to the top here. Um, it looks like it's got crops on it. Um, I don't know if we can actually do anything with those. Um, this is, I say, this is taken from a real live area. Um, so you can actually see this from the thing. This looks like the Google um, map image of the area. And then, of course, they've done this. So, in terms of fields, I am counting 49, I don't see any more, uh, I can't see a 50, so I'm guessing uh, 49 fields. Standard fruit types, um, so there's no multi-fruit on this map. Let's go to this view, just make it easier to see. Um, so we have, in terms of fields owned, we have field 5, 3 and 4, 11, 13, 14, 18, 16, 24. And I do not see any others. So that is the sum total of all the fields. Um, fields are various sizes and shapes. They are not square, as it were, um, but they are squared in various elements. So there are sort of right angles and so on. Um, it's not sort of curved fields. We have um, quite a few fields which look like they're kind of devoted to grass at the moment. Yes, there's quite a few fields that seem to be devoted to grass. 
Um, let's have a look at the sale points. So we have five, 10, 15 sale points. And they sell a multitude of items, um, but usual sort of stuff. There's no additional production on this map by the looks of it. We have no animals. We have a relatively small 100,000 um, sort of silo capacity. And there we have it. Let's take a look at the starting equipment. Um, head up to the garage. We have a Massey Ferguson MF5600. We have a Deutzvar Agrostar 6.61. We have a Case 1455XL. We have a Fent Vario 300. Um, we also have a Fent Vario 700. We have a front loader and a couple of attachments. We have a Case 1660 Axial Flow and a 14 foot header along with a header trailer. We also have a FarmTech TDK 1600 trailer, an Amazon Catros 6002-2 uh, cultivator. We have a Kuhn Varimaster plow. We have a Caveland Accord DL uh, cedar. Yep. And we have a Caveland Exacta EL700 um, um, fertilizer spreader. We have an Amazon sprayer. We have a couple of whites. We have a, a Pottinger Novacat um, mower, which is essentially a rear mower uh, to the side. It's a single mower. We have a Pottinger Euroboss uh, 330T. Uh, trailer forage trailer we also have a big baler 1290 and then we have a pickup truck a joskin aquatrans uh, water trailer and a power washer and that is it that is all we have on the farm in terms of equipment so we've got a good selection of equipment so let's take a look around the farm we have a nice little patio here with a little table we have um, what is this? This is well, this has got to be an animal of some kind. I'm not sure which one. Oh, sheep. So that is a sheep um, feeding location um, right there on the farm. Um, obviously, we've got all our equipment. I'm not sure what this is. Water, it might be seed, not sure, quite sure what that will be. We have our storage sheds. This is for our cows, I believe. Why won't that let me open? Oh, yes, this is our cow shed. And we have a nice little view out into the bay, which is kind of cool. So we do actually have a really nice view. Uh, there's cars and there's essentially quite, yes, that is quite a nice view. Um, so this is our um, cow shed. So you put feed in there, we've got various other things. And this is our pigsty. So everything is literally centrally located on the farmyard. Quite a tight farmyard uh, at that. We've got uh, so we've got slurry and so on. Um, there's a I think this is possibly for water. Um, but yes, we've got a very tight thing. I also think this actually has the mud mod. It just kind of strikes me that this has got the mud mod because um, of what's on the ground. That's kind of cool. So we're just looking around. That's the farmhouse, the back of it. Um, come over here we've got some more we've got a nice little woodshed decoration we've got our storage shed silage clamp um field with a bunch of grass on it which is actually for one of our for our sheep uh, what's this 
This is our field 14 and it's got canola on it. Um, so we do actually have quite a lot of crop sort of set up at day one. Okay, so there is another location. I'm trying to figure this out. So there's a little bit of equipment on the farm and the farm is quite small. So it's going to be, you know, you cut, if you've got a lot of equipment, which we kind of do, um, it ain't going to fit. <laughs> um, I mean, there's not that many sheds. Because a lot of the sheds here are for animals. So, oh, we have a cat. Hello, cat. Okay. So. What else do we have? Well, oops. Uh, let's look at the map. Let's head up here. Um, we have a gas station, so we have something up here. Oh, this is strangely enough. We have a basketball court inside our power washing station. So quite literally. Um, Um, we actually, whilst you're washing your vehicles, you can basically, um, saying this is not drinking water, by the way. Um, so this is actually kind of our storage yard, really. And I'm guessing our silo because, yep, there's our silo. I am wondering how we expand this because of course, to expand it, we need to be able to put down the expansion stuff. Um, but it's all hidden in this building. So. It is a kind of interesting silo though. I do actually like it. It's quite cool. It's got all these bunkers. Um, what's this? This is like a little repair thing. Um, not that we can really use it, but um, I'm kind of stuck now. Can I get out now? I'm stuck. Nope. Oh, phew. So, uh, we have uh, seeds, uh, fertilizer, liquid and solid, and I'm guessing water or fuel all there, which is cool. I'm guessing that's our refill spots. Uh, that's what else. Hmm. Yeah, and a dog. Hello, dog. Bouncing along. So that is kind of our storage yard. Um, what do we have here? We have a small little placeable um, location. Cool. I'm not sure how we get into it. Oh. Ah, back entrance. It goes off down to the sea, and there's a quite a nice boats down here. So this is one of the first causeways. Um, so this map has very narrow roads, um, so no big equipment's going to really work here. And then when we have things like this, you want to take um, a vehicle across to um, all your fields over here for instance you're going to have to um, kind of drive carefully um, there is kind of um, quite interesting scope really for um, sale opportunities sale points and so on if it was to tweak this map um, there's obviously there's, there's boats as well this is kind of cool shame we can't get in it and drive off um, but yeah this is very tight little, little roads um, right we're kind of digressing a little bit so let's have a look at uh, some of the things so let's kind of go we might we're over here so let's take a look at the nursery 
Nursery is a cell point, uh, takes wood chips and manure. It has a bunch of greenhouses and absolutely nothing else to sell. Uh, yep, yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, it's got a kind of nice look on the bay. We have Will Willow Brook Foods. So let's take a look at this. This is a sell point. Um, almost like as if this map actually has more coming because we've got things like this there. Um, there is a little forest as well next door. So there is forestry opportunities. Um, my wagon's been out of place. Uh, what about food? Um, it looks like a sale point. Um, I think that's it. Um, we drive in from the road, drive around the back. There's a water point there, in which is essentially a grain drop off. Um, okay, there's a little forest here. Um, when we when we get in the air in the, in a little while, and um, we'll take a closer look at that sugar beet factory. Take a look at this guy. So this is a sugar uh, beet factory. Obviously, round the back, uh, we drop off the sugar beets. Yep, somewhere around here. There'll be a drop off spot. Um, not sure where. Uh, it could be actually the front. Little signs everywhere, which is kind of cool. Um, there's nothing really on this lot other than essentially the drop off. And I'm trying to see where the drop off is. Sugar Sweet um, is the name. Uh, I actually can't see the lock the actual location. This is kind of weird. Um, I'm either missing something. Uh, there is a trigger somewhere. I just can't see it. Maybe it's over here. And that. Uh, this could be the actual trigger. Um, potentially. Um, the arrows are pointing in that direction though. So I'm guessing that is the case. Okay, so let's take a look at um, McCann's stores. Um, again, drop off location and sale point does have a little bit of other stuff around here. That's kind of cool. Got a little bit of a garden center vibe going on here. Some water, potentially fertilizer, I don't know. Spins, um, various bits of equipment. This is actually kind of cool. Whoever's done this map has spent a lot of time and energy kind of um, pulling together. And I'm, I haven't Googled this, but I'm guessing that, for instance, McCann's stores uh, Kil Kilinchi, um is an actual um, local business. Um, we have a few... Um, garage here uh, there's something else here as well oh spa um maxol uh that's a petrol station is there anything else here or is it just a petrol station um not sure what's going on there but that could be second diesel sale point 
Um, it looks like there's two or three going on here. Okay, let's take a trip over to Kill Inchi Distillery. Um, so this guy drop off um, and essentially sell point. Um, nothing really different here. Um, I just it looks actually there's maybe a couple of cell drop off points. Uh, maybe the different stuff. This isn't a production map, so there's no this is uh, there's probably no kind of parts or anything popping out of this. Um, whoever's built this has used the um, dairy uh, GE placeable to actually. Um, implement this. Actually, it's used two. This is from um, this model's actually from the um, Savapa mods, it kind of looks like. And then it's got the other one bolted on the back. It's kind of intriguing what he's done. Uh, okay, so let's hand up to here. So we have a, oops, we're in a, in a building here. Try and get out of that. So we have a cell drop off point um, and some containers and other stuff. TNT wagon, which doesn't have its, doesn't have the supporting legs down, which basically means that's basically doing the impossible. There is a tractor here that looks like it's lost. Um, it's definitely not one of ours because we can go right through it. Uh, Ardman merchants, so you can drop in wool there. Potatoes, sugar beets, wood chips. So it is a sale point of multiple multiple different things. And what else does it take? I've also got a dairy here. I wonder if there's a milk sale point. How can we get out of here? Nice little village going on around here. Oh, we've got logs as well. Um, whoever these guys are, they take everything. So let's just head into here. Look at these nice little houses. Hardman stores, post office. It's actually a dairy model. Um, Sorry, not dairy bakery model I've seen elsewhere. I'm not sure if these vehicle, if these houses are as they are in the relevant location. Um, Ardman Dairy. This one's intriguing me because essentially there's um, a couple of things going on here. Um, there's a couple of different models. There is definitely something going to be sell, sold here. I'm guessing milk. I'm guessing the milk basically is sold here. Um, I'm guessing it's a milk sell point. Um, if it's working. There's potentially a few things on this map that are not properly labelled. Um, I don't see anything for milk. Um, yeah, I don't see anything for milk. Maybe we need the milk sell point for the things to show up. Um, interestingly. Okay, so let's head back to the map. Ardman Mill. So again, it's another sell point by the water looks really quite quaint um i am intrigued because of this this looks like a sale point oh this is a sale point biosa sale point drop off there another tractor sat there in the middle of nowhere with nothing doing there's a ramp here for some reason. Not sure what. Um, it's a way bridge. 
Yes, this is a white bridge on the way in. So we've looked at that. So our last, well, actually we've got one more stop, which is up here. Um, and this is the biogas plant. Above ground BGA. What's such a shame. A singles, quite small silage clamp. Couple of building storage, and then we have our digestate output. So I would say, oh, I hate that. Um, it's annoying. Um, we've done bias, uh, so, uh, so not sure what this is. Oh, straw sales. So location for selling straw. That's a big pile of straw. So that's kind of all the major sale points by the looks of it. Um, let's take a couple of minutes and let's just sort of, I'm going to go here because I'm kind of intrigued. There's a lot of nice little buildings. So we've got some storage buildings here. Um, with some vehicles that are not ours. Um, I'm guessing we can use that yard, but it's a little bit kind of cluttered because there's stuff in here that we can't use. Um, well, that's cool. Tomatoes being are those tomatoes. What has been grown outdoors? Um, so that's the sugar beet factory. That's what that is. That's just some storage buildings. Um, let's have a look over here. Um, again, there's another set of sheds and stuff. A little house. Again, sheds with other people's equipment in them. So we can't really use these um, storage locations. And then we're same with this lot over here. Look very quaint and cool and everything else, but um, not very practical. So we can't reuse these buildings if we're kind of basing stuff out here. Um, gonna use, if you're going to use these fields, you're kind of limited on the, um, the, uh, the storage locations. So let's take a look from the air and see what we have we have all some quite interesting bits of scenery there's a little bit of flickering going on a nice little waterfall um I'm sure what that is over there we've got a nice little waterfall going on over here with a little river that goes into the kind of body of water um, it's kind of neat. Little shed out here. There is uh, a lot of grassland. I can, you know, these are grass fields. Um, over here, there's some roadworks. Um, there's a little telephone mast as well. That's actually, I, this is the first time I've actually seen this on any map, is someone's actually put the detail of a phone mast in. So quite literally uh, included the cell towers for the area. Um, that is kind of cool. Obviously we're at the end of the map here um, and you know, the map falls away over there. Um, but we've got a little bit of roadworks. Well, it's a little pipeline by the looks of it. Um, so the, yeah, the, the, the effort that's gone into actually making this kind of look cool is actually really good, really kind of high. There are, there's a, I'm not sure if this field is usable, but there are animals on it. <laughs> um, It's weird, but I think that's actually a usable field.
this is kind of this is kind of weird so what i'm just going to drop down here we're on a field that's usable uh, i think it's usable um according to the map potentially this field is usable as field 42 and if i go over here it's kind of telling me there's actually a I'm on the location, field 42, uh, field 43. Um, I can't purchase these fields. Although they're saying as they are showing as fields that you could potentially purchase. This one, for instance, definitely is. Um, I am going to just check some of these then. That one definitely is. So 42 and 43 are potentially purchasable, but they're not. There is an odd, oddness to this. Ah, oh, this is a shop. Um, we didn't check out the shop, but the shop um, sizes the lot. The lot's not very big. The lot is actually really small. Um, Let's go down here and then let's take to the air again and have a look around. So we've got a. So this is kind of weird. Oh, hold on. He's actually done it. Uh, so this is a little football ground. Um, it's actually used elements of the baseball um, fields that you see on some of the American maps, the kind of angled. Um, bleachers uh, so you've got a football ground little little school so it's a school kind of looks like a school um, little housing estates with you know a church um, someone's got a trampoline um, we've got some there is some forestry on this map so there's um, opposites what is that? That is another building. Um, not a sell point, but it's like a, a store or something. You can't do anything because you can't get to it because there's a vehicle in the way. Um, oh, that was a sell point. So there's a little, there's some woodland on that. There's definitely some forestry on this map. Um, now the thing that puzzles me about this map um, and you're kind of looking around and you know we've got the um you know, we're in the air we're looking around and we're looking at the various things um there are some islands ah oh, there's a no there's a sawmill over here oh we missed this I mean, we're inside it, but um, can we go up? So um, over there is the animal dealer, and then this is the kind of oops, we're kind of stuck in some trees there. This is the sawmill, wood sale point. I was kind of wondering why there was no sale point for the wood. Um, I'm guessing there's a cell point around here somewhere. Um, potential wood chip cell point, I'm, I'm guessing. But the interesting thing I was looking at is when we're in the air there, we kind of had the glimpse of. Ooh, uh, that's a potential place, is. Oh. Interesting. He's done this. There's a little causeway. 
So there's the deep water. You drive off there, you're in trouble. And then there's a causeway to essentially wood riches, little island full of trees. And as you can see from the air, that is really well done. Got deep water on either side. And um, a little little island with um, where you can go logging, basically. That is really, really good. And obviously over there, there's a you know, great big body of water. Now, the thing that's intriguing me is how has he done this for the other bits? I've got other islands that have crops on them. So, uh, again, I think he's done the same thing over here. Um, there is a little um, causeway. Yeah, there's a little causeway there. Um, same sort of deal. So you can get to this little island by a little causeway, and you can see the little markers for it kind of being laid out um, there. Obviously, there's nothing really on that little island we can do, but it's great for looking around. Um, there's a you know, obviously, there's the boats and stuff in the water. Now, the thing that's um, so kind of um, interesting me obviously you've got the boats we can't really do anything there's nice some expensive looking boats there this is the kind of um, bit we walked across earlier and then sort of the houses and the sort of the thing um, there's fields over here they're actual and they're actually fields we own over here um, so there's field one which is this one just coming up. Um, there's another field. So we get to that there. Then there's also these two. Field two is there. Five, three, and four are on this little island bit there. Um, so we get to that via a similar um, arrangement with the slightly submerged causeway and these three fields we own now the thing that puzzles me is there are a bunch of fields so obviously we can get to those there's what looks to be a burnt out building there as well is we have this little island here and the thing that puzzles me about this little island is there are crops on it. Um, but I don't think there's another rather interesting little uh, landmark there as well. And that kind of looks like a sunken house. It does look like a sunken house. It's kind of like a bigger house that's been sunk into the ground. Um, so these... We can't get to these. Uh, there's no way to get to them. But I am intrigued. So there's a house here which is kind of buried in the actual <laughs> side of the building. It's kind of funny. Um, but yeah. Uh, but this island we can't get to. Fair, I think this island would flood if there was a flood. Disappear. It's very close to the river's riverbank. Um, so yeah. So there's some interesting stuff on this map. Um, you know, our fa farm overlooks uh, the, the the bay. Um, you know, we've got. That's our farm up there, by the way. There's some interesting stuff going on. Um, there's a rather large looking. Um, I got Ballydorn written on the side. 
Alley door, it does. It's a lighthouse boat. Um, Bally door on that side and Bally door on the other side. It's kind of missing a bit on the other side. Um, I think there's a slight error. It's backwards and there's missing an N. Um, that's a rather odd looking boat. In fact, it looks like somebody sunk a different boat. That is an odd looking boat. But yeah, there's some interesting interesting things on this map. So with that, um, we will, let's see, let's kind of turn ourselves around, kind of look uh, a little bit over. Uh, with that, we will sort of finish up. Uh, this was the Bally Dawn Farm map. Uh, Situated in Northern Ireland, County Down. Um, as I understand it, it's based on a real place. Um, very nice little place. There's a lot of um, a lot of interesting detail on this map. Um, I do like it. Um, it's, there is, I say, a lot of interesting detail um, that has been put in. Um, so with that we will leave um everyone with a kind of view if you found the map review useful today please hit the like button um if you would like to see more map reviews on our let's play series um on our american outback and cherry hills please subscribe to the channel uh, we also have um, our gold crest drag um car timed review lap review um going ongoing as well please watch out for those episodes um so with that thank you all for watching hope you found the, the review interesting and with that goodbye